Hello, I'm Ralf Neff. I'm from Switzerland, member of the multi Merida biking team since nine years. Andy Kugler from Switzerland. I'm uh, 31 years old and I'm race for the multi Merida biking team. Hello, my name is Hannes Gense. I'm riding for the multi Merida biking team. This is my third year now in this um, really big team. It's um, one of the best teams of the world and I'm really proud to be a member of it. Hello, my name is Jochen Kess. Um, I'm riding for the multi Merida biking team. Uh, last year I won the European Championships Marathon, finished fourth in the Marathon Worlds. That's a rather good result and uh, we are here now on Mallorca Island on our uh, team and press camp 2011. We do it now like for five years I think yeah. and uh, okay. we are always presenting our new products here, the products that are coming out in a year later. So. For me it's always special to see our new products, to see the final prototypes that come from Taiwan to Europe and uh, the press camp is growing, every year is bigger and bigger. This year we have 245 guests, like 110 journalists, so it's great for us as uh, athletes to get in contact with all the journalists, to all our guests and uh, to meet the sponsors and it's a, it's a, guy, it's a nice uh, get together here on Mallorca Island. My best results last year are Swiss champion in the marathon and third by the European Marathon Championships. I was second together with Hannes Genze in the Transalp and third by the Rock to Zero Marathon. Uh, we have like a team camp before. <laughs> But uh, I always miss it because I'm coming straight from South Africa where I always do my uh, first training camp of the year and uh, that's why I will have not so many chances for train here. My best results last year was uh, the first place in the Marathon German Championship. <laughs> yeah, this was uh, very nice and yeah, I hope I can defend uh, the title this year. In the last year, my best results maybe was the Transalp second place together with Andy Kugler and I also won the Birkebeiner race, it's the biggest marathon race in Europe, it's in Norway and another race with the Trans Solon Alp where I bet the, um, where I beat it the world champion Alban Lakata by only one second. Yeah, <laughs> he was course, behind I'm me. Joking. I was first, and he was second. There was, and one second between us. I like all. I like. I like yeah. all kind of races, and uh, I like a little bit uh, to change. You know, I like to do one weekend the marathon race. The next weekend we do a cross country race and a short race, and <laughs> I can compete in everything. I like it, and uh, it makes the changes uh, makes it a little bit more interesting for us, for the riders. And it's in everybody's mind now the 29er because it's new in America is not new but for yeah, for, for us for Europe it's it's coming really in the market now and we have to try and, and, and test it bef first before we will use it in races for sure now we will do the Cape Epic with it that's okay. for sure for us mm -hmm. and we will for sure I will I like uh, more the marathon one day race but one uh, day. yeah but the stage races are a little bit more family, more mountain bike adventure, more I think more av uh, adventure in the evening together. We eat together, we talk together, and we are sitting together in the tents and in the motorhomes. That's a little bit more family. The Birken? The Birkebeiner. The Birkebeiner, okay. This is 17. one day, and they have on two days they have the race. So in total, it's more than 20,000. Um, they have the Freitagsbirken. Uh, it's it's more or less on the same track, but the problem was um, the race is so um, yeah so famous that they can't get more uh, more riders in into one day. So they had to spread over two. On Saturday there is not one starting time. They st st um, start with the first start maybe seven o'clock in the morning, and we the professional riders start at fifteen o'clock. So. Yeah, there are many start times, maybe only 500 each start and then you can count how many they have to do. For one day race you train alone at home, then you go there for the race, maybe one day before in front. You sleep, you stand up, make the race, and after the race you go so fast that you can back home. Yeah, I made the Cape Epic in the spring and before also the Cape Outback. 
together with Markus Kaufmann. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. It's, it's a great mm. uh, bike and it's perfect to have it in our range. You know, beside the hardtail, uh, the 26, to have the 29er. And on mm. some courses, for sure, you will be faster with it. Yeah, also we pro riders have to have. It's a 3K heavy backpack. I use a kind of camel bag. And what do and you I carry? Do you have I anything, I'm only anything useful or just because I'm you have to? M more or less, I'm carrying sand. <laughs> really? Because yeah, it's you can form it to yeah. fit to your to, to back, your back right. yeah, and doesn't don't hurt you. And I um, also put my spare tube and a carriage and something like that into that backpack, and I wear it under my jersey, so it does not move, and I still can um, yeah get into my pockets of the jersey for maybe the, some jail or something like that. For this year, my biggest goals are to win the Transalp together with Andy Kugler. Two times I was now second, only stopped by mistakes. And yeah, mistakes uh, like uh, like a technical or uh, uh, first year. First year I had a I had a bad crash. One day where we lost five minutes, and last year we had a bad puncture, which cost us six minutes. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it was on both in both years more or less like two minutes behind the leaders. So yeah, our legs have been strong enough for wing. So let's definitely one of the biggest goals for this year and I also want to want to um, yeah, step on the first po um, step on the uh, podium of the German championships in marathon because if you win the championships you're allowed to wear a nice jersey for one year and <laughs> yeah I definitely want to have it for uh, one day races it's important to have also kind of um, yeah, uh, explosivity because they are, you have some attacks and something like that. But for stage races, it's more important to to be able to recover really fast. So not full gas like in a one-day race, first two days. Then you have a little bit more space for the end of the races, and you have to care about the eating stuffs mm -hmm. and the recovery you have to eat a lot of protein a lot of carbohydrates you have to, to do a lot of drinking and a good massage or and if it's possible to sleep longer yeah. than normally but the most of the races is not possible then because the start is really early maybe in the epic it's at seven o'clock in the morning yeah the 29er is easier to ride it makes you a better rider that's what I feel. You have much more grip in the uphills. It's like a four-wheel yes. drive when you go really steep up. Yep, you have more grip in the cornering and all those things. But in the other side, it's it's not so aggressive than the normal 26s. It's a little bit heavier, but uh, this is not the uh, main problem. I think it's more that out of the corners when we are in a cross-country race, in a really fast one, in a World okay. Cup, yeah. maybe uh, always uh, to get new speed, it's, it's the 26er is faster. So okay. yeah. more agile. where it's flat and uh, small uphills and everything, and you have always speed uh, the 29er for sure. Especially in the stage races that you are have a partner, you are always together, yeah. you cannot do your own race, your own tactic, you have to follow the shape of you and the shape of your partner. Sometimes you have problems or your partner has problems then you cannot uh, attack. Yeah, you, the you, you have to know the route maybe a bit, but yeah, it's difficult in many cases, but um, in the Transalp, you can you can maybe go there before in the training camp and look up the the oh, most yeah. important stage or something like that. But um, yeah, the most important in the stage race is to recover, to be the freshest in the end of the stage race. What I what I really wonder is um, how they do it because um, we are on the bike maybe for three four hours, and then we don't have to care for anything after that. Everything is done for us. The laundry, the cooking, the massage. So we only have to lie or sit around and can relax. Recover. Can recover, yeah. yeah. But a uh, normal rider, he has to... Maybe it's harder for them. Yeah, maybe it's harder. <laughs> they have to collect all their stuff and have to find a hotel maybe or they have to sleep in a big uh, sport hall, something like yeah. that. But um, the big difference is there's, the there's not the same pressure yeah, for them. That's yeah, what I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah. At the start line, it's um, if you're under pressure, you may be second in the overall, you know, okay, it's only one minute to the leaders, but yesterday I had horrible pain in the, in the, 
in the climbs and today it will be exactly the same I have to suffer maybe for hours yeah you know a hobby rider maybe he has pain too but if it's too much pain he can shift yeah and he, he can let the others go me not and I have to fight yeah, till it's more or less about taking part and finishing and not about uh, yeah mm. being very fast I like more the single uh, races especially the cross country yeah why why do you like why, this? Um, yeah my my main goal is uh, the Olympics next year mm -hmm. and that's the reason why it's not really relaxing for me the press camp but it's uh, yeah it's a big event and yeah every year the weather is cool here yeah. very good uh, on the island and yeah we have this year 100 uh, journalists here and 200 guests yeah it's uh, very impressive the 20 minor bike I think is a good invention or it's not really an invention it's just a uh, just another size of the wheels but it brings some advantages to the riders you overcome obstacles more easy and the rolling resistance is lower but on the other hand side the bike is a bit heavier and less stiff for sure it uh, 29ers will not replace 26 inch bikes but uh, they it's just another category and fits another style of riding where I go mostly straight not so many you know like braking and acceleration like in a cross-country race um, for me I think the 29er bike is the better solution and I'm looking forward to using it at the Upsa Cape Epic in the in five weeks <laughs>